Hello everyone, we are from True Maths and in this video we are going to solve this third question of exercise 1.2. And the question says show how root 5 can be represented on the number line. Now for that, first of all what we have to do is we have to divide this 5 in two such numbers that are perfect square numbers. Okay, so 5 can be converted into 4 plus 1 and after that I have to apply Pythagoras theorem. Means if I consider this as 4 and this as 1 that is and what is Pythagoras theorem? In a right angle triangle the square of this hypotenuse will be equal to the sum of square of perpendicular and base. So, if this is 4, this the base will be equal to 2 and if this is 1, perpendicular can be considered 1. So, in that case, this hypotenuse square will be equal to this is square. If I consider this as 2, so that will be 2 square plus and this will be 1 square. So, h square will be equal to 4 plus 1. So, the hypotenuse will be equal to root 5. This is 5. And if I have to remove the square, I have to square root both the sides. So, here the hypotenuse should be root 5. So, this is how, first of all, we have to use Pythagoras theorem to convert this into a right angle triangle. Where this is 1, this is 2 and this is root 5. Okay. Now this is root 5. Now same thing I have to draw on a number line. This is 0, this is 1, this is 2, this is 3, this is 4 and so on. And on the left hand side there will be minus 1, minus 2, minus 3 and so on. Now same triangle I have to form here where the base is equal to 2 cm or you can say 2, unit, uh, 2 units. So, if I from here, if I count 2, so this will be the base here. And from this point, I have to draw perpendicular. The length of this perpendicular must be 1. So, I have to draw this perpendicular. Uh, the length of this is 1. Now, if this is 2 and this is 1 and if I apply the Pythagoras theorem here, this will be root 5. Now, what we have to do is you have to take a compass. You have to put the compass here and taking this length. If I name this A, B, C. Now, if I name this A, B, C you have to put a compass here and taking CA as a radius, you have to draw a arc here. Okay, so taking compass uh, here and I have to draw a arc. And this arc, where this arc intersect on this number line, this will be root 5. This point will be, this point will represent root 5. Okay, and this is how you can solve this particular question. Now, if you want to uh, represent root 2 on a number line, how will you do? Say you have to divide this into two parts, two perfect square numbers, that will be 1 and 1. Now, if I draw a right angle triangle, and if this is 1 and this is 1, using Pythagoras, the hypotenuse will be root 2 because this is base square, this is 1 square is 1, perpendicular square, 1 square is 1 and that will be the sum of these two that is root 2. Now same thing I have to draw on the number line. This is 0, this is 1, this is 2, this is 3 and this is minus 1, minus 2 and so on. Now this is 1, this is 1. So if I consider this as 1, and again this length as 1 obviously this length and this length will be same now 
if this is one, this is one. Obviously, this will be the this will be root two because uh, this is the perpendicular drawn here. Now, again, if I name this A B C and putting my compass here and taking this AC as a radius, again I have to draw an arc. So this arc, wherever this intersect this number line. This point will represent root two. So this is how you can uh, show any irrational number on the number line. I hope you have understood how to solve these kind of questions. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel. And if you have any problem in maths, you can directly contact to us. The phone number, the email address, and the WhatsApp number is given below in the description. Thank you.